With two new probable cases in the islands, doctors discuss the testing process for swine flu. It's important not to panic. The symptoms of the swine flu are similar to other types of influenza. The number of reported swine flu cases in Hawaii could increase to five if two new probable cases are confirmed by the CDC. Olena Rubin has more. Olena? Joe, the state health department says the earliest we could know is tomorrow. Meanwhile, a local pediatrician is also waiting to find out the results of a few patients. State health officials announced Wednesday that two adults living on Oahu could be at home recovering from the swine flu, also known as the H1N1 influenza virus. These two new probable cases have been the result of our back reviewing extensive data that we've been receiving from commercial clinical labs. Department of Health officials say the two probable cases have isolated themselves from others and are staying at home. You know, fortunately these cases when they got ill did stay at home. Hi Ethan. Meanwhile, local doctors are seeing an influx in patients. Take a listen to your heart. Do you have a cough as well? Mm, yes. People are wanting to be checked and um, tested for the swine flu. The important thing to do would be just not to panic and just to take care of yourself, take precaution not to pass it to others. The Centers for Disease Control and the State Health Department work together to track and investigate the virus, but... There are no mandates, however, about, however, about who um, should be tested. We do expect to find more cases. Both agree that there might be more infected people out there. Dr. Dizani says she encourages her patients to come in for a checkup. If it's a situation that's going to be monitored and something that's going to be tracked, then the only way to measure um, something, to measure a number, is to have actual evidence. With that, you need testing. Dr. Dizani special orders a rapid influenza A and B nasal swab, which comes in at $25 a pop. If our test is positive for A, um, swine flu falls under the category of A, then we will send a specimen off to the Department of Health for confirmation. So far, she's had a couple of patients test positive for type A and is waiting to get the results. Dr. Dizani says it's optional for doctors to order the rapid nasal swab test. Not all of them have it. Olena Rubin, KHON 2 News. Neither the health department or the CDC has mandated that doctors submit those tests that are positive for type A to the health department or CDC. And that could mean the number of swine flu cases nationwide is much higher than has been reported.